Well, I don't know anyone who has hours and hours to spend in the kitchen, uh, particularly in the morning time. Absolutely. Let's talk about a recipe with just a few ingredients. Measure, throw them in a crock pot, and walk away. How simple is that? <laughs> Easy. Megan McLarney is a nutrition therapist at Nebraska yeah. Medicine. Good morning, Megan. Good to see you. Good morning. Thank the, you for having me. I have oatmeal in the mornings, mm -hmm. uh, but it's nothing like this. It's just the oats, and I cook it, and I eat it. Uh, but this is a, you expanded this a little bit, right? Yeah, well, what I have here is actually a crock pot oatmeal recipe, and it comes from eatingwell.com, which is a great resource for heart healthy eating. And this recipe is easier than your regular morning routine because you just dump it all in the crock pot and go to bed. You wake up, your house smells really good, and maybe you're like me where people are waking up at different times in the morning. Yeah. Everyone can serve themselves as they wake up. And great also idea. goes back in the fridge, and you have breakfast for a few days if you have a small household. I got the recipe right there on yeah. the website yeah. they were just showing. So. so so what goes into it? How do you do it? Well, all we did was take two cups of oats mm -hmm. and about two-thirds of a cup of any kind of um, fresh or dried fruit. And I use apricots and dried cranberries because they add a lot of color and flavor yeah. and pizzazz. And then I actually added a little bit of spice to it, and I use apple pie spice today. Mm -hmm. You just toss it all in here with, you won't believe, but eight cups of water. And this makes about ten cups. You put cups. eight cups of, cup of eight water in Eight cups wow. of water for this little bit that's of food just right. turned into an entire that's not crop. the typical ratio for oatmeal, though. It's not. Right. So actually, the oats really, really soak up this water and they become really creamy and a totally different texture. It's delicious. Really and good. So what makes this heart healthy for people who don't know? Well, what, what makes this heart healthy is that it's a low sodium uh, dish and it's high in fiber and high in antioxidants as well. Um, so what we have is a base of whole grains from our oats and you can use any kind of oatmeal that you want, but if you start off with the kind of pure oats in the canister, mm -hmm. you don't have any extra salt. Right, and that's, the, the sodium is a big thing. Yes, uh, not exactly. only for, but particularly people with heart failure. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, how does that affect those patients? Well, especially for our heart failure patients, sodium is a huge issue. Um, there's too much salt or sodium in our diet right now. For most Americans, we are about double what we need. And what that salt can do, in the, or sodium, is it can raise your blood pressure and cause complications, especially for our heart failure patients, meaning that they're going to gain fluid and have stress on their breathing and on their heart in general. Right, so, so keeping it low is important. The average American has twice the amount of salt. Mm -hmm. How much, what's the intake should a heart patient uh, be taking in on a, on a daily basis? Well, we're shooting for 1,500 milligrams a day. Mm -hmm. And when you think of 1,500, that seems difficult to manage. So break it down by meal. Think, keep my meals about 500 or less. Mm -hmm. Now, when you look at this entire dish here, you know, you take a ladle of this oatmeal and toss it off with maybe a few toasted walnuts, mm -hmm. and it's a really nice, kind of rich, satisfying, filling meal, and all you have is less than 100 milligrams of sodium. So you're only 100 in for the day, and you've got 1,400 to spend for lunch and supper. That makes it a lot more manageable when you think about that 1,500 per day. What are some other heart healthy facts and myths that people need to be aware about? Well, there are, there are a lot of things to know, but one thing is that sodium really hides in our food. Many people think that if I don't add salt to my food, I'm eating a low sodium diet. Right, if you're not using sure. a shaker, I'm good, right? Exactly. Right. Not the case. Not true. Exactly, yeah. and the truth is, and research shows that about 75% of the sodium in our diet is already there from processing in food. So if you start off with kind of simple foods like this, you have control over what goes into it. That's one myth. Another is that sea salt, sea salt is lower in sodium. Right. Well, that's not really true. Salt is salt. Right? Kind of like sugar is sugar, Sugar right? is sugar, <laughs> salt is salt. And um, so what we want to do is be careful when we add salt or use any form of salt. Mm -hmm. And don't let the food companies uh, distract you with their claims about uh, sea salt being lower in sodium. This is not. So not how much sodium is in this thing? As this I take a bite. whole <laughs> dish, like a, an entire breakfast of this, is about 77 milligrams. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's all fantastic. naturally occur occurring. Yeah, so right. there's some natural sodium that's pulled into plants from from the roots of, and from the soil. But 77 compared to like a typical, um, you know, restaurant meal would be usually around 600 or more for a, even a heart healthy breakfast and like And this. this is delicious, by the Thank way. Thank you very much. Because yeah. sometimes in my oatmeal in the morning, I get some, I don't let it cook as long uh -huh. as I should. So I get some hard flakes mm -hmm. yeah. in the oats. Yeah. All right. 
this is really creamy and soft and really totally creamy. different from anything you can make in the microwave. Yeah. Uh, speaking of programs over at Nebraska Medicine, what are um, uh, some of the heart-specific programs that you have for people? Well, we are actually Joint Commission um, uh, certified, and we have the gold seal of approval for our heart programs, and especially in our heart failure program. And this week is Heart Failure Awareness Week. We're trying to spread the word about heart failure and get more awareness about heart failure. Um, so I have to say that we have a very strong and very unique program for heart failure and supporting that. Um, aside from that and all the many specials that we have available, right now we have two big events coming up. Mm -hmm. And I'm just really excited to share that this week, at the end of the week, um, on Saturday the 20th, we have the Art for Heart event, which is um, today is the last day to sign up, and there is a phone number that you can call. Yeah, we've got we've that got number right there. Thank you. Right there. I'm going to talk to you guys. Are great. And that's 552-2249 at the, the number at the bottom of the screen. That's for this Saturday, right? That's right. And that's for anyone who's a survivor of stroke or a heart disease cardiovascular event. You can bring um, a companion or a friend, go for an art lesson, and really just bond and, and uh, network and share with yeah. other survivors. And that second event, the Heart Walk, which is May 7th, which that we all know about at Miller's up. Landing. Yeah. Exactly. And, and you're asking for people to register right now mm -hmm. for that event please do and start walking you know get ready and build up your your um, resistance and get out there and take short walks while the weather's going to get right a lot there's better. no excuses this week right exactly. the weather's nope. nice out there no nope. <laughs> no excuses i'll be out there so get walking get your team and this is a fundraiser to create awareness and create resources for heart disease yeah and right. we've got this red we put this website uh, the, the recipe on our website Thank you. Uh, and you can also uh, find that on nebraska mm -hmm. medicine today's date the homepage at omahamorningblend.com. Thank thanks you. a lot for coming. Thanks so, so much, much Megan. Thanks for the recipe. Appreciate I'm going to try this one out yeah, soon. I hope you do. Uh, <laughs> is Russ